No, our souls are not trapped when we come to earth. Actually, it's the opposite. We create these illusions and we have created this veil. We, I say we as a collective consciousness, we created this whole illusion that we are helpless. We actually choose to forget who we are. No, we don't choose to forget. We get our memory wiped. That's what really happens. You know, this whole idea that we all came down here to, and we, we created some kind of hell existence with our own consciousness. This is absolute BS. You know, this has been created by design this way. And again, she's saying that we forget these things. We don't. We, like I say, we get our memory wiped. And that's the reason why we forget. So again, more dangerous teachings. Which is a part of God, a very powerful part of God. We choose to come here for the reason of experience. Experiencing polarity, experiencing... Oh yeah, let's all experience war and murder and rape and being slaves and paying for a living and having to pay for a roof over our head and having passports so we can't move freely. Wow, can't wait to experience that one. <laughs> because we are love. Because God is love. God is pure love. This whole idea of love as, as well, I mean, what, what even is that? I mean, it's, yeah, it's nice, but I mean, this this idea that we're pure love and everything's love and you know this matrix is not built on love <laughs> it's built on evil now you either face that and admit that and accept that and do something about it and face it or you can live in la la land like this woman pretend it's not going on and you're gonna suffer more down the line this is what I say to people you know this information doesn't feel good in the moment but is it empowering ultimately Yes, it is. And now what they'll say will make you feel good in the moment, but is it going to be empowering? Is it going to lead you to true freedom in the long run? I would never have chose to experience this. See how the Matrix has, has done such a clever job with these people. See how the Matrix, via the, the New Age movement, has got people to accept their change, to, their change that, to accept their slavery. You know, in her world, everything's love. We chose to come here. All this suffering is part of what we chose to do to experience duality. Everything's good. Everything's fine. Just think happy thoughts and that's what life will be, <laughs> even when it's clearly not. It's just a complete denial of everything dark. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm up for approaching things in posit in a positive way you can experience moments of love with family members and loved ones and you know i'm not saying like don't enjoy aspects of this or we have to we have to find balance of course but we cannot and it's incredibly dangerous at this point of where we are if you consider the fact that most of us have been recycled had our memory wiped this lifetime is so essential that we see it through to a completion of where we get out. And by following people like this, and I'm, I, I'm getting angry because even though she comes across very nice, this information is going to harm people to such an extent she has no idea. And this is why I do what I do, guys. So if in our reality we want there to be a devil and demons and we want a higher power to tell us what to do, then that is the reality we will create for ourselves. Completely denial of objective truth. What she is using, again, and I'm going to do another video about this, is the whole idea that truth is subjective and you make it up as you go along. And, and, and that's how things will be based on what you personally believe. Truth doesn't work like that. Truth is objective. No, ever, no matter how much this woman wants to believe that evil doesn't exist, it actually exists. No matter how much she wants the sky to be red, the sky is always going to be blue. No matter on how she feels about it, what she wants, what reality she's choosing to create, it doesn't matter. It is, truth is what it is. It just is that you are the creator, you're the master of your reality. And this is something that we are not taught as children. 
And there's nothing wrong with that because, again, it's a choice. So, poor people in Africa, poor children in Africa, they... So you're saying that these children in Africa are creating their situation of poverty by choosing that reality. Like, this is insane, right? You think those, you think those children in Africa are sitting there thinking, I want to be poor, I don't want to, I want to starve, right? Because that's, that's basically what you're saying. Like, it's absolute trash, absolute trash. ...that we have chosen before we even incarnated on earth. This is something we want, we don't want to remember because we want to be fully immersed in this. So, so a disabled person is cho has chosen to be born disabled because it wants, to, because they want to experience having a disability. Like, seriously. <laughs> Illusion. <laughs> this is what we want, we want that. First we want to get lost as souls, get lost in... It translated as just accept your slavery and just accept your reality of chaos <laughs> because how she's worried is we just accept we just get lost in the muddiness look see how see how the language that they use is so fluffy and innocent and light but when you actually study it it is so dark it is so dark and this is the problem with the new age it sounds so innocent it sounds so innocent Yet it, the underlying current is pure evil. And like I say, this, this woman's energy is not as bad as some of the people that I've reviewed. But what she's saying is, is evil, inherently evil. And forgetfulness of earth life. And then we want to rediscover ourselves. So the journey we're taking is a journey of rediscovering who we truly are. Which is quite... Yeah, you rediscover who you are and then you get your memory wiped again. And then you're back down again. So what's the point in that? She'll tell you that you chose to come back again and you wanted to forget again. <laughs> With our limited mind. No, the mind's not limited. Engage the mind and you might actually work some stuff out. Let's just sit on a rainbow cloud and look at it from that perspective, shall we? And then it will all be all right. There's so much growth and learning and vibrancy that can be attained from this journey that we go through as human beings so there's nothing wrong with with this journey and it's a beautiful journey because we all are part of a huge track oh, oh isn't it cute <laughs> she's knitting <laughs> oh, tapestry. tapestry and okay. everybody's <laughs> life and experience is a thread in that tapestry and we're creating this beautiful picture it's beautiful guys it's a beautiful picture out there <laughs> really is <laughs> which is part of the development or the evolution of God, him or herself. We are adding to the experience of the Godhead, which we are... Oh yeah, I'm God, so I want more experience. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you to a place where children are abused and tortured and there's constant wars and famines. Yeah, just so I can grow. Yeah, yeah thanks God. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Are all a part of this is the beautiful journey that we are on so again just to summarize the summarization is that just spiritually bypass everything and you'll feel good we are the creators of our reality and there is no soul trap there is only your but not by what she's saying you're not going to empower your empower yourself by pretending things don't exist and living in your own subjective truth where you want to make it up as you go along. I forced you to come to planet Earth. You yourself have chosen to come here to experience what you're experiencing right now. And there is something you want to achieve in this life. Whatever. Yeah, get the hell out. <laughs> have created this reality. How many times do they say the same things as well? These buzzwords over and over and over and over again, like mantras. We can choose to go to any planet that we want. You have probably gone on many excursions and many other planets already. This is an excursion, guys. Did you not know? It's a tour. Earth tour. Go on TripAdvisor and give it a rating. <laughs> How many stars, guys? Put in the comments below. How many stars on TripAdvisor would you give planet Earth? <laughs> have a bit of spiritual ego thrown in as well as the spiritual bypassing 
you're special because you chose to come to Planet Gangster. You're a special one. You're a you're a star seed. You're a light worker. <laughs> one of the hardest and challenging planets in the universe. This no is, for example, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> something that uh, Dolores Cannon has said. She said that if you incarnate here, you are a brave soul. This is another thing that um, Pamela Kriber has found out as well, who channels Yeshua. He oh, here we go. Yeah, all the channeled stuff. It was obvious. Channeling entities, guys, I've said this on numerous videos, that's all they're doing. They're channeling beings that are masquerading of, of the quote-unquote real light. This whole idea of light anyway, I don't even like it. Like, what is real light and what is false light? I mean, I might even stop using the term false light. It also says that uh, souls who incarnate as human beings are brave souls because we choose to forget who we are. You're brave, guys. You're special. Do you not know how special you are, my little star seed light workers? We are. We choose to experience all of these hardships. She said the same thing over and over again in 10 minutes, like literally, not even joking. As well as joys, which we can also experience on Earth, and adventures and all of that. We choose to experience all of these different... Guys, did you know, did you know something that you chose to experience? <laughs> and say, wow, well, wow. well done to you, well done for going through this journey, and everything will be well, everything sure. is well, because sure, thanks. Everything's you well. have created this, and you can uncreate... You created this, guys, remember that. Don't forget that you created this, all right? Whatever you have created that you don't like, because you're that powerful. You're powerful. It's all about taking back your power, reading books, meditating. Of course, you've got to meditate, guys. Come on. Oh, and you've got to do yoga as well and do tarot cards. And just being hopeful. Don't forget mantras and mudras and ecstatic dances. We can and chakra balancing. The Don't forget all of that. And understanding that everything is well, you know. See you later. I love you all. You don't love me. You don't know me. Oh, my God. Why do they say that? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear, guys. What can you say? Same stuff. Regurgitated. As I say, very, very dangerous. Telling people that there's no kind of soul recycling. Telling people that they chose to came here when they got their memory wiped, that they forgot. Extremely, extremely dangerous woman. Extremely, extremely dangerous messages. Even though she looks lovely. The words sound lovely. The underlying messages are very, very da dark. She's telling the. She's basically saying, "Look, you you just make up your own reality. You make it up as you go along. There's no objective truths. Extremely dangerous, which is why I do these videos, as I say. So, guys, if you enjoyed this.